I'm Gail Jordan, professor and coordinating instructor in the Industrial Ceramics Engineering Technology program at Hawking College. Industrial ceramics is a field that uh, many people don't know anything about, but most of what we deal with are either construction materials like brick and tile, pavers, uh, and then there are more advanced materials that might be used in advanced uh, ceramic parts for automotive engines or in the aerospace industries for a whole variety of applications. You know, we certainly use clays, but we use a lot of other uh, raw materials. We use sand, we use all kinds of uh, rocks that occur in nature that we grind up and then we end up mixing back together. And some of those uh, are materials that we use. We actually start out with uh, raw materials and then they make more high purity synthetic materials. Uh, equipment wise, uh, we use all kinds of uh, equipment to process those materials. We basically take big rocks and make them into little rocks to start with and then we put them back together to make some kind of shape that will going to be useful for us. So we have grinders and crushers and screening equipment. Uh, so once we get it down to a small particle size, we have to um, have various methods to put those particles back together to make whatever kind of product we're after. Uh, so we have all kinds of forming equipment. Uh, ceramics is a very old profession. It's been around a long, long time. Some people say it's the oldest technology profession going back to cavemen. Uh, but we've had graduates uh, here at the college for like 44 years now and they've gone into all parts of the ceramic industry. In the last say 10 to 15 years most of the grads have actually gone into the industries that are making brick and tile. Um, we have had people go into the glass industries, we had people go into the advanced uh, technical ceramics fields and continue to do so. Um, but over the 25 years, most of them have either gone into the industrial furnace linings or into the brick and tile manufacture. We're often asked if, uh, when somebody gets out of the program, you know, if they go through, come into our program and they do what they need to to get their training, when they get out, what are they going to do? Um, I've had concerned students that were really concerned that they were going to be a line worker in a factory. Uh, that's extremely rare, and in the few instances when it does happen, it's usually as a, for training, so that you'll be a better supervisor, so that you, you may work on the line a little bit in certain operations. For the most part, um, the, the graduates of the program, I'd say at least half of them, become supervisors in plants. I use what I learned going to school basically to be effective on the job when I was in industry. It certainly helps to have a better uh, background in mathematics and chemistry and English for that matter. All the ceramics we make is kind of a high temperature uh, chemistry where we're combining materials to make some other type of material. So it does help to have that kind of background. Uh, but on the other hand, there's an awful lot of art in what we do too. It, uh, it's pretty complex sometimes. So a lot of times it's not all that scientific, a lot of times it's pretty artsy. One of the things you think that you can do uh, to see if this might be right for you is just start thinking about the things around you that you use every day and take for granted and think, what's this made out of? Why does it work the way it works? Um, I mean, who made it? Why did they make it this way? What went into making this? What makes it work? Would I like to get into that kind of thing?